I feel like getting shut down after saying something dumb, getting shut down by Sadhguru is probably the most humbling experience of anyone's life. So I hope this lady learned something. Hey, it's Indy. Welcome to my channel. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to watch Sadhguru shut up a lady when she tries to insult India. And I hope he burns her to the ground. Anyway, <laughs> of course he's not going to do that. But anyway, check the links in the description for all my social media. And I want to say thank you so much to all my subscribers. You guys are the best. I really appreciate you all. Thank you so much for your support. Anyway, without further ado, let's watch. Where? Um, so my question is actually on Bharat, uh, since the government there is going to be changing pretty soon. And I wanted to find out, you know, Hinduism concentrates a lot about inner transformation. But I see a lot of lack of, you know, a social consciousness and service, or as you term, uh, you know, going out and um, having a sense that, you know, this is my country. How, what do you see needs change in India? Why do you think it's lacking? Sorry? Why do you think it's lacking? I think because from early on, I mean from ages… No, no, not… Uh, why, why do you come to this conclusion that it's lacking? I see it. No, not true. You, you were looking at it from a… Uh, you're trying to put a, a template, a Western template on India, which we… we're very proud that we are like a cosmic chaos. Understand? <laughs> we feel homesick if there's too much order. <laughs> Do not misunderstand that as lack of, uh, you know, passion for what it is. There's enormous passion. You should see. You just see there is no other nation where such a large democratic exercise happens the way it happens in India. No other country on the planet can fulfill that, believe me. You should see how it happens. Even the poorest, in the remotest possibility where there's no road or electricity, even there he gets to vote, okay? It's a big thing. Anyway, what is the possibility? The next five years, if we'll be scintillating for India, probably ten years. So, big changes are going to happen for sure because what has been lacking for India is an Indian has never been the leader of the country. When I say this, I'm saying our education systems in India have been such, once we get English educated, our brains are in green which mean time. <laughs> yes. So, there is no… There, is, there has not been a leadership who understands people the way they are. Somebody who will not ask Indian people to fit into another format which is not theirs. They made them… they made ordinary people feel ashamed just because they don't know how to speak English. They can speak their mother tongues fluently, but people are ashamed that they can't speak English. When you… see, nation is just an idea, let's understand this. It's not some God-given thing, it's just an idea. Agreed. If you invest certain passion in this idea, nation becomes strong. When you're ashamed of being who you are, how will there be passion about it? Agreed. For the first time, we are having a leadership which is passionate about who we are, okay? This is very important. This is over a ten, twelve thousand year old culture which is so complex that you cannot put it into simple logical analysis that you normally put other societies into because it is too complex and it's too multi-dimensional, multi-ethnical, everything multi, okay? It needs a very organic leadership, not a synthetic leadership which drops there because somebody is somebody's son or daughter. That's what has happened in the last thirty years. Huh. 
thought it was funny that the uh, Overcome Sadness video ad popped up. I must be reading me. It's a sign. <laughs> anyway. Honestly, I don't really even understand the woman's question. She didn't even know what she was asking. And I think that's why it came across as being insulting because there was some kind of Western idea coming through that she wasn't clear on. And that would also be why I feel Sadhguru's answer was quite general. Um, I totally agree with what he said about nations being an idea. If there were no national lines, there would be no, there would be no separation between people. I mean, you could identify with a certain location geographically, but you wouldn't have people fighting over borders, of course. And even though that's not exactly completely relevant to this, um, this video, it's something that I've thought about in the past, and then maybe you have too. There's really no difference between any of us except for where we're located. And that, of course, has to do, or of course, where we're located influences our skin tone, languages, what we eat, things like that. And to see things from a Western perspective and to judge the East for whatever we feel as Westerners Easterners are lacking is unfair because, like I said, the only difference between us is the geography in which we happen to live. The lines have nothing to do with it. Boundary lines, I mean. I'm not sure uh, about, I don't know what Sadhguru's political views are, but it seems that he does support, based on what he said, he supports whatever um, leader or government was in power at the time this video was made, and that's great. And as much as I don't know about India's democracy, I am aware that people in the, remote, the most remote regions in India do get the right to vote. In fact, I heard a story about some gentleman who lives in a forest. I'm not sure the name of the forest. I have a very bad memory. But he is the only one who lives there, and he specifically has his own voting station set up for him, so he can vote too. And that is something that is definitely, be, definitely to be admired by us as Americans. And I think sometimes we, we Americans and Westerners, prioritize things that we shouldn't prioritize and take other things for granted. Like, honestly, democracy is probably one of the most important things that we could have as a people because it's important that everyone who's being governed by one person or one small group of people has a say in who constitutes that group of people. And here in the United States, as much as we like to think we have a democracy, um, it's kind of, it's shaky. And I feel it's, it's not going to exist the way we wish and hope it would within the next few years, if not already. It's very easy for outside forces to influence who becomes the president here in the United States. People don't have much of a say. It's a whole big convoluted story, but India has it right in many ways, more right than we do in the United States. And yeah, our lifestyles can be very different Westerners may be uncomfortable living in India and vice versa, but like I said, sometimes we prioritize the wrong things and we forget the context in which we're raised. I mean, I'm kind of, I'm pretty adaptable and I, I'm a rugged person. I, I'm okay with sleeping in a tent, doing things. I love camping. I don't mind filtering water. Etc. I could live anywhere really if I if I wanted to but not everyone's like that and I guess that just goes back to I'm kind of rambling right now that just goes back to what I was saying about people's context in the way they grow up it's not fair for Westerners to judge Easterners based on our perception of their lifestyle so she was wrong in her question even though her question was unclear and I'm glad Sadhguru decided to clarify that for her and I hope she understood what he was saying and I hope that she took something from it because that was a very important message from him. Anyway, yeah, <laughs> that's, 
that's my spiel. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click that subscribe button. I feel calm after watching Sad Guru. I really like his videos and I do um, agree with a lot of the things he says about energy, vibration, etc., etc. I would call myself somewhat spiritual, um, but that's a topic for another time. Anyway, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you later.